Good evening to you all. Welcome to the Shard. Welcome to the second of the Brexit presentations we've done here. We've also done a number across the UK and also, I was reminded today, one in the Reichstag. Uh, but what a day to pick to do a panel session on Brexit. Colin, do you think there's uh, any chance of getting a deal done no. in 20 months? No, I don't think. I, I mean, there will be deals done, but, but you won't have a comprehensive trade deal. Comprehensive trade deals take years to negotiate. those stats, I, I, want, I felt like saying, who are the 21% who don't want a comprehensive trade agreement? In, in the report from Shakespeare Marginal, which is don't let the future do itself to you, get involved in the conversation like this and shape the argument. going to get the staff from for um, the lower salary people, children's nurseries, care homes, the NHS, they're big areas employing a lot of people that currently we're getting from abroad. 18 months on, or more than 18 months since the referendum, a lot of the arguments are very similar to what they were in the campaign, but I think equally the focus at Westminster is much more on the practicalities um, and personally I think we are moving quite rapidly towards looking at some kind of deal that in some ways replicates a lot of what we've got now. And the title of this is, is Brexit Means Business. But no deal was ever done in business, I've been in business for 30 odd years now, where you had one person who was euphoric and the other one that was in despair. Deals get done by compromises. And if today and the announcement that took place that some people won't like, means that people are starting to realise that what these guys were talking about in terms of the mutuality, mutuality between the UK and Ireland, mutuality because you can't get the stuff, unless there's some way of actually getting mutuality because we need to be able to spell out what is going to happen to the customers that we already have. And the realisation that these deals are not just going to take place over the next 20 months, but there is going to be something which is done piecemeal. But in the meantime, there has to be a workable solution. I think the penny is dropping, whether we like going or not. I hope that's the sign that we take from today. And I think it takes away some of the excuses that we've seen in businesses which have been about not taking action. Uh, and Philip said, get your head down. I think that's good advice, but there needs to be greater clarity. I hope that people feel that there is a bit more uh, clarity from the report we've done, but also from the announcement today, and that they take the advice that Adam gave on his presentation at the beginning, that now is the time to take action. Thank you very much for listening.